Thank you very much for the, the nice welcome. Um, and um, also from my colleagues, from my co-authors, um, thank you a lot um, to the EAUP and the University of Applied um, Sciences um, to let us present some innovative concept of education, um, which is called uh, RLS Sciences um, based on a multilateral and multi-level approach. So uh, why um, multilateral? Um, this political concept, it's called the Regional Leaders Summit, RLS, and it's a political cooperation uh, between seven um, regional governments. You see um, we're covering four continents, and it's um, the regions, for example, in South America, it's from Sao Paulo, um, United or North America, it's Georgia, Quebec, uh, Europe. Um, we're working together between um, Bavaria and Upper Austria. In Asia, it's Shandong. And in Africa, um, the government from Western Cape is, or West Cape is participating. So some facts about the regions. Um, these are home for about nearly 180 million inhabitants. And they represent a GDP around uh, 3,000 billion US dollars. So um, between these partner regions, uh, more than 600 projects have been implemented on a bilateral and multi-regional um, multi level. And the principle um, this RLS framework is working is policy for generations. So they're working on political perspectives, strategies, for sustainable development of the society, economy, and the environment. So um, we understand that RLS is a regional response to the challenges of the globalized world uh, in the 21st century. And from 2002 on, the heads of governments for these regions, they held political uh, summits every two years to offer an opportunity for political dialogue. Uh, here you can see a list of the, the um, summits from 2002 on. Um, the first one was in Munich, and then every two years uh, they changed to another region. Um, and you see there's a broad variety of topics uh, that we're talking about, um, going from youth and technological innovation um, to sustainable energy and development, for example. Uh, last year, the last one was held in Munich, in Bavaria, and it was about digitalization and innovation. Uh, next year, um, there will be in spring, there will be the summit in, in Quebec, in Canada, and the topic will be energy transition towards a low carbon economy. So within this, this political framework, um, RLS Sciences uh, is looking at generating and supporting the academic, scientific, and technological exchange, um, as well as the, the initiation of multilateral research projects. So in all ongoing research projects, um, the main goal or the main target is the promotion of education. Uh, what are the goals? There are three goals um, of RLS sciences. The first one is internationalized. So we want to facilitate and support the development of the research partnerships between the scientists in the regions. The second one is innovation. So we are creating a framework with which researchers from the, these regions can develop new ideas together. And the third one is investment. So we are supporting our scientists by finding funding um, opportunities for their RLS projects. Um, right now there are, or there had four research and uh, development themes been inter identified last year in 2016. And they were carefully chosen to reflect the best potential uh, for the scientific cooperation between the seven RLS regions. Uh, the first one is digitization. 
Then we have aerospace, small satellites, and energy. These are the four core research topics of the RLS Sciences Network. Um, here you can see the structure. Um, it's a top-down structure, and um, it gives you an explanation uh, why we are talking about multilateral and multi-level structure. You see there's a political commitment of these seven member states. They identified four core scientific research topics, and then we have in every um, region, partner region, uh, we have scientific coordinator, we have administrative coordinators, and we have political coordinators. And um, from those seven regions, there is an overall management team preparing RLS sciences for the next summit. Um, this also um, explains the, the multi-level structure of, of our network. Um, you see um, political coordinators in every region, scientific coordinators in every region, and administrative coordinators. Um, we also have a president and vice president and an overall management team consisting of scientific representatives, um, people from the management and the government. Within these four uh, research, core research topics, um, energy, small satellites, aerospace, and um, digitalization, um, there are also, in every region, lead scientists from universities um, or universities of, of applied sciences. So um, let's go or, uh, a little bit deeper to, to the, the, um, the, the core topics. Um, the first one would be aerospace. Um, within the regions, um, aerospace is uh, a key economic driver and it's a research priority uh, to the regions. So it's an extremely um, competitive uh, area on the world and um, the regions, they need innovation uh, to remain operational um, under increasing financial and environmental con constraints. So um, this is why um, this workforce around um, aerospace has proven to be crucial, um, of crucial importance. And there are, exist different teaching approaches uh, within the, the RLS science group. And um, there is a strong understanding amongst us, amongst our partners, that sharing this regional expertise is teaching um, aerospace this can lead to enhanced teaching and training programs that will benefit uh, to all of the regions. Um, within this project, uh, there is a lead partner from um, Bavaria. It's um, Professor Klaus Drexler with um, Munich Aerospace and the Technical University of Munich. And this RLS Campus Aerospace project, it aims to create a leading teaching platform in aerospace. Um, this campus, we think, improves the vis uh, visibility of aerospace, of the research activities within our network. And um, internationally, on international level, and it helps to release research results faster and reducing the distance between teaching and research. Um, the first summer school of this campus aerospace um, it was organized by all Varian partners um, and successfully took place last year in Bavaria. For example, there were nine PhD candidates from five different RLS regions and they joined the summer school under the title Flying Robots, Concepts and Challenges of Aerial Autonomy. Uh, there have been like uh, around 100 speakers from science and industry. Um, the long-term prospects of this global aerospace campus is developing um, an online study program, RLS Aerospace Online Study Program. Um, they want to establish an alternating RLS summer school in this field. We offer a global exchange and mobility program for the students and researchers, professors, PhDs, and internships with industries. Um, Last month, there has been um, the last summer school of, of um, Campus Aerospace um, in June, 
and um, it was about green aerospace or green fuel in, um, in aerospace. Um, the next one will be in May 2018. Um, as I told you, there will be the political summit in, in Quebec, and there will also be the global aerospace um, summit um, in Canada. And it's uh, programmed for 2019 that there will be a summer school from, uh, in Sao Paulo. Um, let's go from aerospace to the second research area of our sciences. Um, it's about small satellites. In all partner regions, um, the, the uh, universities, or we can find companies or agencies with, uh, who are dealing with space technologies. So um, for the network, um, is it working? Yeah. Um, it's, it is a symbolic uh, perspective when all the partner regions extend their cooperation to high-tech demonstration uh, in space uh, in order to realize a system of cooperating small satellites based on technologies from the partner regions. Um, we think there is an added value for the RLS Sciences Network. Um, all regions have the necessary expertise. They can either contribute a few, a full satellite or key components or expertise in this field. And the cooperation will maintain research and training excellence in the network. It will provide a regional advantage um, regarding um, the increasing international science and innovation competition around small satellites. Lightweight, strong impact. So this small satellites project for telecommunication and Earth observation, um, the lead partner is um, from Bavaria. It's uh, Professor Klaus Schilling, um, Institute for Robotics and Telematics, and the University of Würzburg, and the Center for Telematics in Bavaria. So there's also a project website where you can find um, more information on this RLS science um, project. And finally, we come to the third um, research, RLS research area, which is the energy network. Uh, actually, it's, it's the, the, um, the, the eldest one of the, the research topics. Um, it was in initiated as a follow-up to the political summit in Sao Paulo in 2012. And um, because of the geographical composition from these five continents, um, these RLS regions represent a strong potential in the field of energy and um, in particular in renewable energy. Within the energy network, um, we are looking on topics like biofuels, so um, the development of innovations in the field of biofuels. We are looking on um, topics regarding storage and conversion, so uh, what solutions are there for uh, energy storage and conversion, um, energy efficiency, and the topic waste to energy, um, finding new ways um, for the use of waste to, to um, address the world's growing need for energy. Within the energy network, um, we are looking um, for to get access to research activities undertaken by the network partners. Um, we generate long-term, large-scale, visible projects within the network. And we doing this via, um, for example, an exchange of uh, scientific information between the universities, research centers, industry, and also public bodies. We try to identify um, funding opportunities within, out, in and outside the network. And we are creating joint research activities and joint participation in international research programs by the regions. Uh, for example, um, in this network, there was also, or there is um, also contact with the University of Applied Science of, of Upper Austria, um, with the institute uh, which are looking at uh, working on um, energy and environmental technologies. Um, the, the energy network, there's also a student exchange module. We support international and multilateral mobility. 
Um, for example, summer schools, the last one was right now in June uh, this year in Quebec, and it was about um, smart cities, smart villages. Uh, there will be the next one um, next year in, uh, in Quebec, um, parallel to the, to the political meeting, and it will be on renewable energy. Uh, we also have a virtual platform um, where you can find all the information about research topics, about news and events, um, publication and funding opportunities, for example, mobility between the, the regions. And the Energy Network is um, having a roadmap. Um, so besides all this um, mobility, the, the exchange of students, we are also working on a scientific level um, regarding renewed, uh, regional renewable energy. Um, we have different scientific uh, work packages in this roadmap we are, we are working on, for example, monitoring or mapping um, process regarding renewable energy in the, in the regions. Um, first results of this concept, uh, you can see here from 2016, um, an event list of RLS sciences, um, where you can see that all of these four um, topics, um, there have been meetings, there have been conferences, there has been a scientific exchange between the, the RLS sciences. Um, for example, this year, uh, the Energy Network, they met in Quebec uh, for the Energy Day. Um, there was the summer school I, I mentioned um, about aerospace in June. Um, and right now, we are really happy to, to present our idea and our concept of RLS sciences here at the A, um, AUP in Vienna. Um, sorry, this was too, yep. Yeah. So um, our first results in education. Um, regarding aerospace, we have a summer school in aerospace with industry involvement. Um, we are, or we are preparing, the colleagues are preparing a joint MOOC um, for the campus aerospace. There are internships. Um, regarding our research files in small satellites and the energy network. Um, there's research training for students and young researchers. Um, there are mobility programs within the seven par participating regions. And um, there's professional training in the, fight of, um, in the fight of space for the topic of small satellites. And in the energy network, there's also the, the possibility for research internships. So from our um, point of view, this RLS sciences um, is not limited to a single standard model for education. Um, we think that each research area, aerospace, small satellites, the, the energy network, it is modeled in its own appropriate format. Um, we are in the process of defining a multi-level governance. Um, so from the political level, from the scientific level, and the, the management level um, structure that enables a greater cooperation between these, these different levels. Um, our priority is to generate a cross-sectoral and cross-regional interaction with the aim or the target, target that science is, is enhanced. And in our multilateral research projects, um, as I showed before, uh, the graduate students um, and young researchers, they have the opportunity to deepen the academic knowledge in the global environment. Um, and this environment is interdisciplinary, it's international, and it's practice-oriented. So thank you very much um, for your attention and for the possibility to, to present our last sciences. My name is Eda, and I am from Brazil. I would like to say that uh, this presentation was very important for us. Uh, not because of the, the uh, object, but because of the methodology used in this teaching process. Our, we who are presidents must understand that the future of education will be very different. And it will be exactly this way. Communication all over the world, 
and the net, uh, uh, students who work in, in network, in network, and the the best thing, they will learn and they will uh, use all the potentials that they have in each institution. Uh, in my opinion, we are very traditional. We we are very narrow-minded, unhappily. But this experience that show us that. Uh, several uh, doctoral students are studying subjects that are very important for the society. And they are studying uh, with the, their efforts and the, the researchers who are working with them. And they, can, they may include each time that they visit, they have a summit, they include lots of new participants and they can have seminars to show what they are doing. So congratulations. I'm very happy to see uh, what you have done. And uh, I'm very sorry that we are so behind this kind of experience. Because for us today, what happens most of the time is classroom and professor there and teachers uh, and the students here. So I have to confess that uh, probably I won't see this transformation in the teaching process of the teach, learning teaching process at the university. But this was great. I, I'm very happy. Thank you very much. Thank you.